morning. Even up on your sit bones, on between your pubic and pubic bone and your tailbone. And lengthen through your spine and just kind of rock around a little bit. Just playing with the um, comfortable position between the sit bones, between the front to the back. And it roll around from sit bone to tailbone to sit bone to pubic bone. And let's do it in a clockwise circle. Add one more layer to the movement. I want you to inhale on the front from side to side around that circle and then exhale around the back side. So slow down your circle so you can match it with your breath. Inhaling around the front. Exhaling around the back. Pause for a moment. Feel your breath. And we're gonna go the other direction. Inhaling around the front. Now we're going clockwise. Exhale around the back. Nice slow circle to match your breath. Instead of going quickly and trying to match your breath to your movement, slow down your breath and match your movement to your breath. Stay tall in your spine. You're not jutting your chest forward or pressing your upper back towards the back of the chair. It's just like you're on the tip of your center of your pelvic bowl and you're just rotating around it. Almost like you're on the bottom edge of a ball of some sort. And you're just rolling around on the edge of that ball. Bring yourself to center. Drawing up from that center point between the four points of your pelvic floor, the sit bones, the pubic bone, and the tailbone. Lengthen through the crown of your head. And observe the path of your breath. Allow your breath to get a little bit bigger. Imagine that if your breath could explore your body as it enters, starts to explore through the nooks and crannies. Almost as if tendrils of breath kind of open up and unfold in all of your fingers and toes. Feel the breath radiate through the body. Feel the sweetness of your seat. Your breath, your energy, 
And at the same time, feel the sturdiness of your body. Rooting into the floor as if you could grow roots out of the bottom of the chair and grip the earth. Feel the sturdiness of the trunk of your body. Imagining the growth of limbs coming out of your head, reaching towards the sun. Feel your body kind of melt into your sit bones. Releasing a little tension, not being so erect in your spine. Feel yourself melt, even if it's a small quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch. And on your next inhale, I want you to lengthen through your spine a little bit more, reaching it back up, drawing your pelvic floor together as if you're trying to suck up the earth. By engaging that pelvic floor, it, it puts a little space in your hip joint. You're not just sitting out in your hips. Just a tiny sucking in, lengthening up. Feel like your belly button and your spine touch. And on your next exhale, make it a little bit longer and sink back into your sit bones. Feel your whole body sink in and relax. We're staying tall, but we're not arching, we're not rounding. We're just letting our muscles sink into our joints. Feel the shoulder, arms hang from the shoulders. Feel the spine stack heavily on top of each other. Feel the sit bones root into the earth. Feel your pelvic bowl sit into your joints. On your next inhale, I want you to lengthen through the crown, sucking up through the pelvic floor, feeling that belly button pull in when you suck up through the pelvic floor. Lengthen through the crown like that string is pulling right out of the center of your head. That's the soft spot you had as a baby. So where you're pulling up through that area. Lengthening tall, providing space between each vertebrae, space between your hip joints, space in your sacrum, supporting the bones, supporting the joints. Nice breath in the chest, in the back, and in the belly. And one more time on your exhale, relax, sink into your sit bones. And take a couple of breaths. I want you to have your hands on your thighs if they're not there already. And I want you to slide them out as far as comfortable. We're going to take a deep inhale and lift our heart up towards our chin, keeping your belly pulled in without arching your back too much. And you're gonna exhale, roll the shoulders forward, round your upper back, drop your head, help press the rest of the air out. Inhale, 
Heart lifts up towards chin, shoulders go down your back, shoulder blades go down your back. Exhale, start rounding your upper back, shoulders come forward, dip your chin slightly, push out that air. Inhale, heart comes up. Exhale, sink your heart back into your spine, shoulders forward, dip your chin. Little modified cat cow. Inhale, heart comes up, shoulder blades down your spine. Just a little head up, not too high. Exhale, round forward. And then bring yourself back to neutral. You can roll your shoulders a little bit, twist your spine a little bit if you'd like to. So we did that with a nice relaxed pelvic floor. Now I want you to engage your pelvic floor, almost like you're trying to suck your sit bones together towards each other. And you're trying to suck your tailbone and your pelvic pubic bone together. Bringing everything in, narrowing that area, supporting through the hips. And we're gonna do the same motion. Inhale, lift the heart up, shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, round your upper back, drop your head, shoulders roll forward. Stay in that lower body suck position. Inhale, chest up. Heart up, shoulders down your back, a little tilt up of the chin. Exhale, round, holding the lower abs, the lower pelvic floor. To do three more of those breaths at your own pace. Inhaling the heart up. And exhaling the heart into your upper spine, rounding your shoulders. Drawing that pelvic floor in together and up. Almost as if that string is pulling on the crown of your head and almost lifting you off the chair. But you're engaging through the backs of your legs, through your glute muscles, through the pelvic floor to try and keep yourself on the chair. On your last breath, bring yourself back to neutral, shoulders over hips, relax through your glutes, through your thighs. Take a couple breaths and breathe. Do some intuitive movement on what your body feels like it wants to move whether it be twisting or rolling shoulders or more round and arch or side to side, whatever feels good. So other than the, the term sucking up everything, you know, sucking and pulling everything up and in, that's to me, sucking up is a horrible terminology, but that's the way it feels to me. It may feel different to you. It's actually called a bunda, and um, that's not a common term that we all use. So, you know, that sucking up motion, something that I've been focusing on is strengthening, actually strengthening the hips, not trying to stretch them out, not trying to overdo anything, but strengthening all of the ligaments and tendons and muscles that support the hip joint. So that very simple exercise of lifting, sucking and releasing in and rooting in sit bones, lifting, sucking and releasing in help to provide stability in the hips. If you haven't noticed, lift my shirt up a little bit. I have this fancy dancy little belt here on my hips because my SI joint is completely out of place right now. And so this is part of my exercise to get stuff back where it's supposed to be. So y'all are along for the ride, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to scooch forward a little bit and grab something to uh, strap our dog leash or something along those lines built. 
so that we can um, work on some lower leg stuff. We're gonna utilize this sucking up and release motion in a couple, well, in several different poses to feel the difference. And if you remember at the beginning of my um, training classes, we talked about having sweetness or suka and stira or, or um, power. So we're gonna go between those two things to strengthen the, the joints. So put your strap around both feetsies or whatever you're using. So I have my feet knee width or knee width, <laughs> hip width apart. <laughs> my knees are over my um, ankles. And I want you to put the outside edges of whatever you're using on the outside edges of your, of right behind your knee, kind of in the, if you've got some thick legs, the, the fatty part right here, the muscly part of your leg, not on the joint itself, but right back here behind it. And you can bring them together in the front, okay? Hold them together with one hand, or you can just hold them together and press press down over the tops of your legs. So you, this is going to be your um, uh, not support. That's not the word I'm looking for. Your resistance. This is going to be your resistance. So make sure that you have it drawn in nice and tight together. Sit up nice and tall. And I want you to first sit into your sit bones and relax into your sit bones like we started, okay? I'm actually gonna cross mine because for some reason it feels better to me. Play with it until you feel like you can get resistance. Like you could pull your legs in and out, in and out, in and out, but we don't want, we're gonna, we're gonna resist the pull. Does that make sense? Okay, so just relax for the moment to start with. Hips knees out from the hips, ankles right below the knees, toes facing forward. You want the, the middle of your knee and the middle toe to be facing the same direction. Relax into your sit bones, take a breath. And then I want you to do that suck up motion that pulling your pelvic floor off the floor basically. Almost like when you're when we're relaxed, we're just like as our pelvic floor is just splatted on the on the chair. Draw your pelvic floor up, lengthening through your joints, through your hip, and then provide a little resistance on your legs, just a little pull. Don't let your knees come in, and then I want you to push out with your whole leg. Don't push so hard that it's cramping. You don't, want, you don't want that much push. Keep your glutes, your butt muscles engaged. Breathe. Keep lengthening through your lower abdomen, your low pelvic floor, lengthening through your crown. Stay tall and long and release your legs. Release your resistance, shake them out a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing again. Make sure it's back on the, on the fleshy part, not on your knee joint. Providing a little resistance, like you're gonna draw those knees in and I could see myself in the camera, so I'm gonna open my knees up a little bit more so they're right over my ankles. Suck up through your pelvic floor, lengthen through your spine, provide resistance with your arms, and try and open your legs against your strap, your whatever you're using. Try and open them, but don't have so much strength in it that you're getting a cramp. Your butt's engaged. Lengthening through your spine, you're drawing up through your pelvic floor, providing space in between your joints, in your sacrum, in your hips. And you're breathing. And then relax. 
relax and release. Very nice. Release your strap. You can shake it out a little bit. Now that was working on the outer. So you have a, we're gonna work on the inner as well. So if you have a block or a something, you want something that is um, sturdy. So you don't really want a pillow. You want a book or even a, even a glass, if you have a glass or a coffee cup, or you could take whatever you were just using and flatten it up, put it between your knees. Again, right behind the joint on the fleshy part. That's too skinny for me. I need something thicker. All right. So hold on to it to start with. Make sure that your knee, hold on to it, but bring your knees close so when you do squeeze, you don't have to move very far. You don't want to have your feet way out here. You want to have make sure they're under, your ankles are under your knees. And you can still kind of slide it a little bit. It's sticking on my pants, but I can still kind of slide it. You're not engaged whatsoever. Everything's relaxed right now. And you're able to slide whatever you're using, a book, dog treat, <laughs> whatever works. All right, a block, all right. So draw up through the pelvic floor, suck everything up in tight, suck in together and up. Lengthen through the crown of your head. And then I want you to engage your thighs as well as your butt to hold whatever that item is. And I don't want you to let it go just in case. You don't wanna drop it on your ankles. Just hold on to it and don't squeeze so tight that you're cramping, okay? Go ahead and relax through your hamstrings a little bit if you feel yourself cramping up. You don't wanna go that far. There's no reason to go that far. You're still working those hip uh, abductors and adductors as we do this exercise. But keep that pelvic floor drawn up so that the muscles are doing the work and not the joint. Breathe. And then start relaxing your feet, your calves, your thighs, your butt. Relax your pelvic floor back into the chair. Shake out your legs if you want. We're gonna do it again. You guys might hate me by the end of this. Betsy, just do as much as you can. If you have to stop earlier, because I'm holding them a little long, if you have to stop earlier, that's fine. All right, we're going to do it. Do it again. So line yourself. Put your item in the middle on the fleshy part so that you can move it up and down. Make sure your knees are on, over your ankles directly so that when you squeeze, you're not squeezing too far in. Relax through the thighs to start off, holding your item. Just suck up, do your bunda move, pulling your abs in, pulling your sit bones towards each other and your pelvic pubic bone and your tailbone towards each other. Making that center area small, feeling like it's small. This is very much, um, not so much a physical action, like you can't touch your sit bones together, but it's a muscular action. Lengthening up through the crown of your head and then engage your butt a little bit more, your inner thighs and hold on to your item. Don't let it go, use your hands still so you don't drop it. Breathe, sucking that pubic bone up into your belly, drawing that tailbone up and in lengthen and breathe make sure your breath is still remaining long and gently start to release this time from the top down release your glutes release your hamstrings your thighs your knees your calves your feet shake it out good stuff Kick your feet around, move your knees around, move your, you can lift and lower your legs. Those muscles um, are probably a little exhausted at the moment, a little tired. Maybe mine just are because I did this yesterday. Shake it out. All right, we're going to stand up and we're going to do um, 
put your chair at the end so that we can do, you know, our, our that kind of thing. We're not gonna do the whole flow. We're just gonna focus on doing some hip motion, some hip control with our, can you see me? Okay. With the same uh, bunda that we've been using. <clears throat> All righty. I need to scoot this way a little bit so you guys can see me better. A little bit more. Hang on. I just like scoot without running into the studs. Hold up. All right, so we're going to start. We usually start up here, we do all this kind of stuff and we step, we're not gonna do all that stuff right now. We're going to start far enough away so that we can grab onto that seat and use it for balance. But I want your feet to be the width of your mat. So you're gonna have some wider feet to the edges of your mat, okay? And we're gonna practice this bunda idea standing. We've been doing it sitting, we're gonna do it standing. So starting with your feet wide, no matter where you have your, if your feet are out a little bit or in a little bit or straight on, it doesn't matter as long as your knees and your toes are facing the same direction. So just standing tall, I want you to do that, that suck up motion. It feels a little different standing drawing your, your sit bones to, towards each other. When you're standing, it almost feels like you're drawing your femurs towards each other and drawing up through your abs, up through the, sit, the pelvic bone, pubic bone and the tailbone kind of curling up and in, lengthening through your crown, nice and tall. And I want you to rotate your hands, palms out. It's the version of our Tadasana. Shoulders are relaxed. Fingers are open, but you don't have a lot of energy in your hands. Your hands are gently relaxed. Palms forward. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Knees remain soft. Shake them out just in case you think you might have locked them. And I want you to find that center, just like we did when we were seated. We kind of rolled around on the tip of a ball. We're going to roll around clockwise. It's much smaller when we're standing. Kind of roll around, not moving your hips side to side, not moving your hips forward and back, but feeling like your upper body is rolling on an axis point right between your legs. And then go the other direction. They're tiny movements. Not near as big as when we're seated. And the reason they're not as big is because we don't want to move our hips. We want to keep our hips locked in place. And then find your center. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, butt goes back, chest comes forward, reach your fingertips for your chair. Your heart center melts between your arms. You're reaching your glutes back like you're trying to reach the wall behind you. Breathe. Now, rather than just sitting into your, your hip joints, I want you to utilize that bund up, pull in and lengthen as if that pubic bone is trying to reach your chin. And that opens up some space in your hips and protects your low back. Knees are softly bent. Drawing your belly button in just a tiny bit more. Lift your head so you flatten your back some more. Lift and lengthen through spine and then sink your heart back towards the floor. Keep that bunda, keep that squeeze in your low, your low pelvic floor. 
Next inhale, lift your head up, lengthen through your spine. Bend into your knees as deep as you feel like you need to to get up. Bend into your knees, flat back, come all the way up. And relax. Shake out your legs. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the squeeze like we did earlier with our feet together. So now I would like you to put something between your legs that's not heavy, that's very light, very light, like even a towel, super duper light, so that you can hold it between your legs. Have your big toes touching. I'm gonna scooch myself a little closer to my chair. Big toes are touching, heels are touching. Bend in through your knees a little bit. Kind of have this weird, almost seated posture. I'm not perfectly straight at all. And then I want you to take a deep breath, draw in through your core, draw in through that bunda, lengthening, straightening your legs without locking them out. Reach to the crown of your head and hold on to whatever you have in between your thighs. Don't squeeze so much that it feels like you're cramping though. Right before cramp. Lengthen and hold on like it's going to slide right out, like it's made of silk. It's going to slide right out. Deep breath, arms come up. Exhale, butt back, flat back, come forward, reach for your chair. Let your heart sink, butt back, holding on to that, whatever you got. Keeping that bunda lengthening through the spine. Inhale, lift your head, flatten your back. Exhale, sink your heart. Squeeze through your glutes. Draw your belly into your spine a tiny bit more. Protecting the back. Bend into your knees as much as you feel comfortable so you can start to rise. I want you to rise only on an inhale. Squeeze the butt. Lift straight back all the way up, release and relax. Just intuitively move, shake it all out, round your back, side to side, be gentle with yourself. We're going to go to the floor. We've done our, we've done our uh, bunda seated. We've done it standing. And now, lucky you, we get to do it on the floor. Okay, so make sure y'all can see me good. All right, make sure you have your strap. to your back. Draw your knees up and just you can just sit and relax for a moment. If you want to, you can roll if you want to. Feel where the tension is in your hips. They may be getting a little bit tired. Your tendons and ligaments in your legs might be getting a little tired in your butt. Just roll or flop your knees around. Move however it feels good to release some tension. And when you're ready, I want you to lasso both feet. And lasso both feet, but then go ahead and bend your knees. Before we start this exercise, give you a little bit of, uh, because we don't want to have our legs up in the air for a too long a time. So I'm going to do some explanation before we even lift our knees or lift our feet. 
So what our goal is, is once we lift our feet, we're going to have our feet hip width apart. We're gonna have our knees and our toes facing the same direction overhead. We're going to provide a little bit of resistance with our strap as if we're trying to open our legs against that strap, okay? You're gonna have your feet flexed nice and strong. Your knees are in a, will be in a micro bend, so you don't want a straight, straight knee. But you're gonna have energy from your butt all the way up to your feet. And once you get that energy from your butt to your feet, then I want you to do that bund up and pull your, your uh, pelvic floor up towards your heart and lengthen up through there, okay? So I know that's a lot, that's why I didn't wanna have your feet in the air that entire time. Take a nice deep breath. As you exhale, flex your feet and take your feet to the ceiling, hip width apart, flexed feet, but not over flexed. Provide some resistance with the strap, kind of pull the strap towards your chest and then try and open your legs, but don't let them open. It's very uh, concentrated effort. And then I want you to pull that bunda in, lengthening through the crown of your head. You almost feel like your hip, the back of your hips root themselves further into the floor. Strong legs, breathe, squeeze through your glutes, lengthen, keep your long spine, keep your breath, don't hold. Relax your glutes, relax your knees, so slowly start to bring your feet down. And you can roll if you want to, or you can just hold and hang out. Whatever feels good. i do it a second time. All right, take a nice deep breath. As you exhale, flex feet, start to open the knees, feet goes towards the ceiling. Engage the arms, drawing the strap down through your, towards your chest, and then try and open those legs. Feel it on the outside of your butt working. And then do your bund up, pull in through your belly, lengthen through the crown of your head, putting some space in that hip joint. And then relax your glutes, bend your knees, draw them back down and under your feet and just kind of roll a little bit. Both feet on the floor. I want you to walk your feet together so the toes touch, the ankle touches, the heels touch, drawing your knees towards each other. So typically when we, we're gonna do a bridge in three different positions, this is first position. So when you do your bridge, I want you to draw your, once you start, draw your abs in, do your bunda, suck up through the crown and then you're going to inhale, lift, exhale, lower, three times at your own pace. Just take a nice deep breath. As you exhale, draw your bunda in, lengthen through the crown. Next inhale, you start your lift up. You don't have to go very high. You may just barely, if at all, lift off the floor, and that's okay. It's the muscle engagement that matters, and you're exhaling down. You're doing it three times at your own pace. Making big breaths though. Just try and keep those knees touching as best you can. Don't squeeze so much you're cramping. You can completely release when you touch the floor if you want to, then realign and lift. And relax. Once you've done three, walk your feet to hip width. Flop your knees a tiny bit to release any tension. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take a nice deep breath to start. 
once we start, I'm gonna explain first. You're gonna take a nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, you're gonna draw that bunda in, sucking up through your pelvic floor. And then on your next inhale, you'll start your lift, exhale, descend. All right, deep breath to start, root your feet. Exhale, draw that bunda in, lengthening through the crown. And then inhale, lift. Squeeze butt at top, exhale, lower. You can release and start over and do it again, or you can just inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Even if you don't even feel your skin lift up off the floor, that's, that's perfectly fine. You have to start somewhere. Do three of them. When you've reached your third one, relax. Open your feet to the outside edges of your mat. Make sure your knees and toes are pointed in the same direction. So if you open your feet out and then start to go out to the sides, make sure your knees are also out to the sides. Have a comfortable distance away from your butt. You may wanna draw them in more or less because we're gonna do a bridge in this position this time. So I have my big toe on the mat and my rest of my toes are hanging off the mat, yet my heels are on the mat. So that's my comfortable position. You may find something else that's more comfortable. So same thing, it's take a nice big inhale, exhale, bunda, draw in, lengthen through crown, root feet, and then on your next inhale, lift. Exhale, sink down. Staying in the bunda, inhale, lift. Exhale, sink down. You don't have to go very high, but make sure your knees are not going towards the center or opening too wide. Keep them over the ankles. And exhale. And relax. Now you can go to flopping, opening up your feet more, or you can go to rolling, drawing your knees up, whichever you wanna do. give our uh, hips a little bit more love. I want you to lengthen your right foot out. Toes towards the ceiling. Bring your left knee in. Take your right hand on the outside of your left knee, or, or thigh actually, and I want you to roll your hips together to the right. You can roll up against something so you don't, or you're not kind of left hanging out in, in orbit. You can tuck your left toes behind your right knee. You can put your left toes on the floor. You can just put them on your thigh. You can let them hang out up there. You have lots of different options. Move it around to where it feels comfortable. You can put pressure on the outside so it, it deepens the twist or you can just touch it and not put any pressure whatsoever. Slowly roll back, foot on the floor. Draw the right knee in, lengthen the left leg. We gotta do the other side, even though that's a Shavasana. We, gotta, we can't just only twist on one side, it wouldn't be right. Left hand on the outside of right thigh. Move your hips together as you roll. I push with my elbow on my right leg arm as I roll my hips together. So I really focus on keeping them together, not lifting one and keeping the other one rooted. They roll as a unit. You don't have any goal in mind in this twist. You're not trying to be super flexible. You're just giving a little opening in your hip. And then roll yourself back, roll them together. Relax your foot on the floor. 
Ready yourself for Shavasana. You can draw your knees up or flop for a little bit if you need to. Do a little bit of intuitive movement to release any pressure, any stress. I'm going to set myself up. So that y'all can hear me better. Shavasana really is meant to be lying down. Meditation is meant to be seated mostly and meditate and Shavasana is meant for lying down, but that doesn't mean that it's a hard fast rule. Bring yourself to a comfortable position. Hips and shoulders are aligned. Get the wiggles out, moving your neck around or your shoulders, feet, hips, whatever you feel like you need to wiggle. Get the wiggles out. And then center, center in your awareness to your breath. The rise and fall of your chest. Feel the energy through your body. Feel the residuals of movement and strength. Feel your breath naturally slow as your body comes to stillness. Feel your body melt into the mat. Feel the skin on your forehead. Feel it wrapped around the front of your cranium. From one temple to the other. Feel that almost swimmer's cap of a skin Go from temple to temple, from your eyebrows, around the back of your head, as if you were putting on a swimmer's cap. Feel the skin underneath your hair follicles. Feel the hair attached to your scalp. Hear the full, feel the folds and tiny crevices in the ears. Feeling through the earlobe. Feel into the ear canal. And feel the act of hearing. The act of taking in sound. Feel the sound resonate through your skull. Feel back in behind your eyes. Feel your eyes attached in your skull. The back of your eyeballs. Feel the socket that the eyeball nestles itself in. The eyelids that protect it. The eyelashes that blow away foreign matter, catch fine particles. Feel the bridge of the nose.
feel from the center of the bridge all the way down to the tip of your nose. Feel the air that is being pulled into your body from that tip of your nose. Feel the air that you release from your nose on your upper lip. Feel your upper lip touch your bottom lip. Feel the insides of your cheeks. Back to where your jaw is attached in front of your ear. Feel your tongue relaxed in your mouth. Feel the root of the tongue down in your throat. Feel the air pass by that root in your vocal cords. Feel the position of the back of your neck. Feel the space between the vertebrae. Feel the muscle that wraps from the back of your neck attached to each vertebrae down around either side, down right between the two clavicle bones where that soft spot is, way down at the base of your throat. Feel the muscle that attaches right under your ear and slopes down over the tops of your shoulder. Almost like a slipper slide. Feel that attachment point from the back of your ear all the way down your spine, down near your tailbone. The large muscles of the back are almost like a fan. They attach at each vertebrae from neck down to low spine. Come to a triangle point up near the shoulders on the outsides. Underneath, kind of in the armpit, your lat latimus dorsi. Feel the move slightly when you breathe, opening up your back. Feel the rib cage wrap around from the back of your body to the front of your breastbone. And feel your heart underneath your breastbone, nestled between two lungs. beating slow and natural. Feel your heart beat. Feel it pump blood to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Feel yourself connected to your body. all of the little intricacies, all the things that make you, you. Feel the strength in your arms, the strength in your legs, the strength in your pelvic floor. a couple of more breaths to connect with your body. Connect with the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. Feel the energy rise and fall as you breathe.
Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing motion back into your hands and feet. I want you to do nice and slow, open and close. Open your fingers, close them in. Open your toes, close them in. Feel that motion of open and closing all the way up your forearm, all the way up your shin. Roll your wrists and ankles. And straighten your knees and elbows. Shrug your shoulders up. Lift them off the mat and return them to the mat. Squeeze and release your glutes, kind of tucking your tail and curling it towards the ceiling and then relaxing it, providing a little flat and arch of your spine. Draw one knee in at a time into your chest. You can roll or just pause and breathe. It's completely up to you. And when you're ready, roll over onto your side, stack your hips, your shoulders, and your knees. Take a moment to breathe. Let gravity settle in the side body. Let the equilibrium in your ears settle. Part of getting dizzy when you get up is getting up too fast. Think about that next time you get up, take it in steps. Slowly peel yourself up off of the mat. Find a comfortable seat. Relaxed arms. And I want you to sink into your sit bones. You still have a tall spine, but just relax your glutes and sink into your sit bones. You may feel a teeny tiny rounding of your low back. Not too much, just a tiny bit sink into your sit bones. And then one last time, I want you to draw sit bones together, pal pubic bone and tailbone together. Have your bunda drawing, sucking up through your pelvic floor, lengthen through the crown. Nice deep breath. Exhale, but hold. Inhale. Exhale and hold. Relax your glutes, relax your shoulders, drop your head forward. Lengthen through your back. Rock your head side to side as if you're rolling your ear over to your shoulder. Roll your right ear over to the side and hold. Tuck chin and roll over to the left side and hold. And roll back to center. Lift your head up, chin up. And come back to center. Breathing, inhale, hands up, palms up, lengthen. Exhale down. One more breath, inhale up. Hands come together overhead. Exhale, bring them down to your chest. Gently flutter your eyes open. Bring your awareness to the room. And namaste.